Good afternoon, everyone. I will start with you today. Steph will follow, and then I think we will have a guest, I understand. And uh, our first note is actually a thank you note from the PJ. The President of the General Assembly has thanked the governments of Antigua and Barbuda and Norway for their strong support for the Play It Out concert against plastic pollution, which took place in Antigua on Saturday. Ms. Maria Fernanda Espinosa said that the partnership with Antigua and Barbuda, Norway, UNOPS, the Cream Group, and Lonely Whale was crucial to help turning the tide against single-use plastics. The PGA is grateful also to the international performers, goodwill ambassadors, and advocates who helped in bringing awareness for her global campaign. During the concert in Antigua, the Antigua and Barbuda Declaration was launched and opened for signatures. The document is aimed at encouraging all Caribbean countries to further the steps being taken to eliminate the use of single-use plastics and end the pollution of the oceans. More information on our dedicated website, which is www.un.org slash pga slash 73 slash play it out. And we will stay with the subject with a heads up for your diaries. Tomorrow, 4th June, the President of the General Assembly will join Oscar winner actress Weepy Goldberg to unveil a photo exhibition by National Geographic at the UN Visitor Central Hall here in New York. The event will take place from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. The exhibition is part of the campaign to beat plastic pollution, the PJ and Whippy Goldberg will be joined by the permanent representative of Monaco, Her Excellency Ms. Isabel Pico, and the National Geographic Society Chief of Content, Communications, and Public Affairs, Ms. Kali Kreider. This exhibition, a partnership between National Geographic and the Office of the President of the General Assembly, is supported with funding from the government of Monaco and will effectively tell the story of plastics. The UN will be the first stop on a global tour for the Planet of Plastic photo exhibition. And President Espinosa is chairing the plenary meeting on the implementation of the Declaration of Commitment on HIV AIDS and the Political Declaration on HIV AIDS item 11. This meeting analyzes progress on the eradication of the epidemic. In her opening remarks, the PGA highlighted the role of the GA in drawing international attention to the commitment to fight HIV AIDS, including the 2030 Agenda, which plans to eradicate HIV by 2030. The meeting is being attended also by the Secretary General's Chef de Cabinet, Ms. Maria Luisa Ribeiro Viotti, the Acting Executive Director of UNAIDS, Ms. Winla Carlson, and representatives of member states, UN agencies, among others. Ms. Espinosa said that thanks to collective efforts in 2017, a record number of 21.7 million people living with HIV received antiretroviral retroviral medicines, an average of five and a half times more than 10 years ago, receiving the antiretroviral medicines. The PJ said that in order to win the battle against new infections and the epidemic entirely, it will be necessary to implement initiatives for key vulnerable groups in regard with services for prevention, treatment, and anti-discrimination measures. The PJ also said that more must be done to close gaps in financing to tackle HIV AIDS, AIDS and that the world still has time to take urgent measures to deliver on the promising of eradicating HIV AIDS by 2030. And finally, tomorrow at 10 a.m., the General Assembly will meet to elect the new president of the GA. The ambassador of Nigeria, His Excellency Tijani Mohamed Bandi, will stand for election as the candidate nominated by the African group. After the vote in the afternoon, there will be a stakeout in front of the GA Hall, where you will be able to ask your questions to the incoming PGA. So we will keep you updated on the exacting time for tomorrow for this stakeout. And this is actually everything from us today. Hamid, it looks like you have a question, so go ahead. Thank you, Monica. Tomorrow, in fact, is the Ramadan Eid, and many of the Muslims will not be here. So 
could, could think anything could be done to postpone the election like until Thursday? I know it's too late, but hypothetical question. Sure. <coughs> um, we have our, our holiday on the 5th, as you know, here in the United Nations for, for the holiday of uh, Eid. Uh, the election uh, is scheduled for tomorrow, and so is the exhibition as well, the photo exhibition in the afternoon. But I will take your uh, question on board. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, James. What is the President of the General Assembly's reaction to the violence that we've now seen in Sudan? The president is very uh, worried about uh, the violence. She's actually following uh, these reports, uh, which we are uh, following since uh, a while. But of course, uh, we saw all the reports this morning on the recent uh, wave of violence. And she asks all parties to re restrain themselves from violence, from uh, escalation of tension, and to seek uh, constructive dialogue. Thank you. Thank you, James. OK. Welcome back. How are you, Jen? Um, good, thank you. Mm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. My technique here. Does the PGA have any thoughts on these Venezuela-related meetings that are going on in the building involving the Lima Group and the International Contact Group, and mm -hmm. whether these may bear fruit? Well, as you know, uh, the UN does not take uh, uh, part in these uh, uh, exchanges. Um, of course, the PGA uh, has been very outspoken in saying that uh, uh, efforts uh, from uh, groups and the international community, uh, she herself uh, met with the CARICOM group when they came here a few months ago, uh, but uh, also the the meeting that uh, happened uh, in Oslo uh, between the two parts directly, uh, she is very. Uh, she actually encourages uh, uh, the conversation, uh, the dialogue uh, between uh, the two parties in question, uh, in order to find a solution for the crisis in Venezuela. Uh, because since the beginning, uh, she has stressed that um, the people of Venezuela are suffering under what is going on and uh, we need to end the suffering, and that will be ended by a diplomatic solution through constructive dialogue and not through more violence and more attention. Yes, uh, anyone else? If not, I wish you a wonderful afternoon. I will see you tomorrow, and uh, we will send you, as soon as we have, the time for the stakeout with the incoming president, which should be in the afternoon, but I will let you know the exact time, okay? Thank you, I'll see you tomorrow, thank you.